If a car could get 200 miles per gallon, would you buy it? Well, you're now the proud owner of a Tesla Model Y. It works like this. A gallon of gas has 34 kilowatts of potential energy, and an 1100 pound Tesla battery carries 78 kilowatt hours, essentially the energy equivalent of two gallons of gas. But somehow that Tesla battery will get you 400 miles down the road. And that's because internal combustion engines absolutely suck at spinning tires. In fact, of that gallon of gas, only 15% is converted to forward momentum, and the rest is lost as heat. But what if we mount a high efficiency Honda generator to that Tesla and run it at its optimal torque band? It'll convert half the potential energy of that gas into electricity, and then charge the batteries and spin the motors at 90% efficiency. And that same gallon of gas gets you more than three times further down the road than a conventional car. And this is why freight trains converted to diesel electric in the 50s. But why start with gas? At $5 a gallon, we're paying 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Yet you can install solar with a battery backup for two cents a kilowatt hour over its lifetime. That's 15 times cheaper than what I pay to keep the lights on in California. Seven times cheaper than a gallon of gas. And 40 times more cost effective at pushing a car down the road. And the batteries aren't perfect. But newer formulations have higher energy densities, don't blow up as often, don't require rare earth minerals, and will last 500,000 miles if you treat them better than your cell phone. And this technology is only in its infancy. So whatever your opinions are about climate change, Elon, or the nostalgia of badass trucks, if you want to save insane amounts of money and be completely self-sufficient, make the investment. Because one thing is for certain, energy rates ain't about to come down.